public. Who on it? I can set him up. Who beats ya? Y'all go buy Poruski. I'm speaking Russian cuz that you doing too much. Double low 32 secret agent stuff. I know that you come to when you jump on YouTube. A Sacramento cop just got arrested for sending loot messages. Some girl he wanna mess with. 15 years old that he just want to molest. Whoa, what? It's your favorite local, especially after I spoke. Support the real, get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. How you fight back? It's simple. All you gotta do is just subscribe and follow me on Instagram at C E D D Y N A S H. One word, Seti Nash. I'm gonna follow you back, like your pictures and all that. What it up with the visionaries? <clears throat> Cause y'all know this is my hometown, right? A farmer, even though he was a cop when he was arrested. He resigned after internal investigation. So let me put that out there just in case they conveniently leave that out of the report. A former Sacramento police officer has been arrested after he allegedly met a teenage girl online and had explicit chats with her. The family of the 15 year old girl says she appears to have met former cop Daniel Donahue through an app tied to Snapchat called Hoop. The girl says she brought the conversation to her aunt's attention when she found out Donahue was a police officer. He is a person we're supposed to trust, said Kathy Benjamin, the girl's aunt. The family says that in the hundreds of texts they had seen, there were new photos sent and asked for some. Some of the new photos were allegedly of Donahue in his police uniform. It ain't alleged. He was out there naked with his whatever, you know, sticking out of the cop uniform. One of the messages Donahue is accused of sinning said, I really want to be with you. Donahue allegedly promised to meet the girl in Minnesota saying, no one has to know. On March 9th, the girl's family contacted the police department about the alleged conversations. The police department then placed Donahue on administrative leave and launched a criminal and administrative investigation into Donahue's conduct. Sacramento Police Department detected searched his residence, his workspace, electronic devices, and his vehicle and determined that there was factual basis behind the allegations. The department said in a statement, on Wednesday. Donahue resigned during the investigation. He had been with the department for about two years. I worry this isn't the first time, said Benjamin. Based on their findings, the police department on Wednesday issued an arrest warrant for Donahue alleging inappropriate communications with a minor. He was booked in the Sacramento County Main Jail. Just before 5 p.m., the Sacramento Police Department said Donahue was still in custody and there was no time frame for when they would be done interviewing him. The, I mean, the investigation is ongoing. Sacramento Police Department Chief Daniel Hahn is issued a statement about the incident which reads in this part the sacramento police department does not and never will tolerate this criminal behavior from our officers this behavior tarnishes the sacramento police department badge and is absolutely not representative of the honorable work of our more than 1,000 members who are dedicated to serving our city Chief Hahn said it is possible there are more victims and asked anyone with information to contact the sheriff's office Timothy Davis, the president of the Sacramento Police Officers Association, said in this statement, former officer Daniel Donahue failed to live up to the standards we demand and expect from a member of our association and a member of our department family. While this case is still under investigation and the case has yet to be adjudicated, Donahue was no longer a member of our association and we do not represent him. Those who commit criminal acts deserve to be held accountable by the criminal justice system and we expect justice will be served in this case. Ha <laughs> Bullshit! Y'all some damn liars. Y'all protect murderers of people who look like this and people who don't make bread like the rich ones. That's a damn lie. Guaranteed, guaranteed. This little girl, never mind, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I really want to, but I don't even wanna bring that into play. Congrats. <laughs> On what? She only turned that dude in because he was a cop and she found out. That's it. Other than that, she would have been ready to mess with this old ass dude. 25 years old, she 15. Now, in certain states, I don't know about Minnesota, so let's check it out. What is the legal age of consent in Minnesota? 16 years old. So all he had to do was wait until she was 16, which is disgusting as hell. Hell, I don't even find 20-year-olds attractive at all. But either way that goes, that's how I feel. And whatever happened in Minnesota, that's on Minnesota. I find it disgusting. But either way this goes. Parents, 
I don't care how old your child is. Until they move out of your house or they're 18 years old, you need to be monitoring that phone. You have to for their safety and yours. Because what would have happened if dude would have showed up at the house and he would have been getting it on with that little girl, had his gun on him and everything like that, because you can drive across state lines and stuff like that. Sometimes just show your badge and you're good to go. And I'm pretty sure since him knowing the law, he was going to drive and do the speed limit. So he would have possibly came there with a gun and then they would have found him out. And then what could have happened potentially? He could have upped the burner and killed both of them. You see, that's why you have to pay attention to what your kids do online. You know, those things. So monitor your child's stuff. They have no privacy whatsoever. I don't give a damn if they're 17 as well. You can give them a lot more lineage, a lot more rope, but that's where that stops. Yeah, I said 17. Absolutely. If they're 17 in high school and they are living up under your roof, that's what you're supposed to do. Still protect them when they go 18. All you have to do is have that talk. Look, I try to save you as best I could. It's time for you to fly. Get your own wings and stuff like that. Respect my house. You can't have nobody up over here or anything like that. Still, because you don't know exactly who these kids are bringing to your house. I don't care what anybody say. That's my rule. And if that's your rule, shout out. If that ain't your rule, then it is what it is. Live with the consequences. I have no sympathy or empathy for you if anything bad happens. Y'all expect me to keep it real because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Make sure you check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, streaming music, SETI Nash music. Then, follow me on Instagram for your follower and hella likes. I just do like this, man. I'm telling tell you. No, actually, it's like this. Don't, 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 don't. And make sure. If you haven't subscribed by now, why the hell not? Nobody else is giving you this information. I don't care that, you know, it happened in my home city. I truly don't. I need to get this out there to y'all. And yes, we will be having Sunday service today. We'll be having it within an hour. See you there.